What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I've got for you guys Basically, I'm going to show you how to get my Poker Ghost Shell, which I'll show you in a second after I open this chest and got a token out of it. Have a look at this. There we go. Now, it does look better in my inventory and it does look uh, slightly more bright. You can't really see it there where I am. It's a little dull. But uh, I wasn't even going to make a video on this. I basically put a picture on Twitter yesterday. People went crazy saying, how did you get this? What shell is that? What shell is that? So I've decided to make a video because obviously more people want to know about this. And they want to lock my poker ghost shell. So we, we, that's fine. That's completely fine. But before we get into the video, and before I show you how to do this and get this, if you guys want to win some silver, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Winners are picked from my Discord server linked within the video description. So join it, people, if you haven't already. Okay, so basically, my ghost shell here is called the Half Submerged Shell. Take a look at this. <laughs> How badass does that look? You know that looks great. You know that looks absolutely amazing. Now, the shader I'm using is a Sirius Modular. Um, you can use the Noble Constant Red. This works good as well. It's a little more bright, but obviously that's a legendary. It's a bit harder to get. You can use uh, the Sirius Modular I was using, and you can use this one here, the Suez Modular Shine, again, a little harder to get, uh, as it's a legendary, and it makes the bottom half of it look a bit metallic silver or chromish, but I still think, I think the one I've got on it um, is definitely the best best one I've, I've got, or the best one you can use. Uh, the Suez Modular is easy to get, you've probably got loads of its stats, and I think it just looks absolutely perfecto. Okay, so on to how you actually get this uh, Poker Ghost Shell or the Half Submerged Shell. It's actually a random drop from Tess Ever versus Bright Engrams. Now, guys, do not buy these. If you missed my video yesterday, I brought 14 of these. I didn't get a single exotic piece. They are an absolute shambles, they seriously are. If you want to watch that video and watch my pain, I will link that within the video description. It's pretty funny. But. The actual ghost shell you are looking for, like I said, is this one right here, the half submerged shell. Um, it looks great, not gonna lie, it looks great in so many shaders. Um, but obviously you want, you want that Pokemon shader. Yes you do. Now there is an actual other ghost shell which you can use, which is this one right here, the Lotus shell. This one though, it's got a few patterns on it. It don't look as good as the one I'm using, but it still looks quite good it seriously does hasn't got the black around it uh well the border of black around it though which i think look, makes it look even better but it still it still looks good you can still have a pokemon shade uh pokeball shader or pokeball ghost um with this ghost shell you sure can you sure can indeed now the ghost shell i've actually got let me quickly show you guys what it does i don't think it's anything amazing i think it's based around the Moon Titan, let's have a look. Yes, it is. Gain 10% more experience while on the Moon Titan. Detects resources within 30 meter range while on the Moon Titan. So yes, it's basically a Titan Ghost Shell. You would think because it's like half and half that any shell with half and half would work with these shaders, which actually isn't the case. This one here, the Kill Tracker Ghost, which you get from Lord Shax. Um, no, no chance. It doesn't work at all for some reason. Have a look. There's no red there at all. Where's the red? I don't get it. Why is there no red there? <laughs> There's just no red. Sirius Modular, no red. And Sirius Modular Shine. Again, no red. Nothing. I just don't get it. But yeah, so you definitely want to use the one I've got, the Half Submerged Shell, or you want to use the Lotus Shell, both obtainable from Tess Ever vs. Bright Engram. So get leveling up people and cashing in those Bright Engrams if you want the Poker. Ghost shell, yeah. You know that's amazing. <laughs> you know it's amazing. But yes, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you did enjoy, leaving a like really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos and want to be a part of the most active Destiny channel on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by, people, and hopefully I will catch you on my next one. Gotta catch them all. Always in